Sina, you have an important job in the seabed fishery sector. Could you tell the participants more about yourself and what draws you to the sector? So what I do is oversee the overall quality and safety of the company's products to ensure it meets all requirements of the customer and all laws and regulation governing the manufacturing of food. On all the trawlers, there's a TED, which is a turtle exclusion device, which is a part of the net. So it ensures that turtles are not brought up with the catch. We also have the type of fishing gear that ensures that the environment is not um, destroyed. Following that, we would ensure that we discharge the product into the plant. We have machines that peel and grade the product, and then we would freeze and cartoon, and then we ship to our destinations. Um, MNC certification has been very important in achieving. It was actually customer driven, so it has really opened new market opportunities for our company. So, as an actor in the seabed value chain, what key issues do you think that the Fish for ACB project can address? I think the program would be beneficial to Guyana holistically in addressing some of the sustainability issues um, that we have. Um, an old fisherman's folk would tell you that um, usually when there's a lot of rain, we get a lot of shrimp. And over the past years, we have not had a lot of rain. We currently also have issues in terms of large amounts of sargas and weeds and um, decrease in catches. Specifically for our company, I have seen that over the years, we have had a decrease in catches. I think more research needs to be done as to what's causing the influx of the sargasm needs and also in terms of climate change, um, more studies to see are, are we going out farther enough to catch the sea bob, should we come in more inshore? Also because of the decreasing stock of sea bob, you are now actually having to try to meet market demand. So what is being done about this um, failing to meet market demand? With the MSC certifications and the um, biodata collections, we are not overfishing and um, there is hope in terms of sustainability of the fisheries. But in terms of our market, um, we're not sure what's going to happen there.